Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my vlog. We are headed to Houston. This is my boyfriend Ryan, if you guys are new. And this is Sophie. We're taking Sophie on the trip, which we like never do. So this will be very interesting. And we're like in the middle of nowhere right now. We're coming from Austin. And once we got like maybe 10 minutes outside of Austin, it was just like straight grasslands. It's only like a two hour, two and a half hour drive if we pace it good enough. So we kind of speed up a little. <laughs> we're gonna be there at 8.50. Look at that water tower, it has a smiley on it. I know. <laughs> um, we're gonna go eat in somewhere in Houston. Um, apparently we're staying in the Galleria, and then tomorrow we're gonna go to Galveston, which is um, the beach town close to there. I think Ryan said it was like about an hour drive from Houston. Ryan booked the hotel during lunchtime, so it was a pretty spontaneous trip, and that kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies because I'm like a big planner, so. It'll be interesting. I was trying to be very minimal this trip. I brought like one small duffel. No laptop. No laptop, y'all. And just my little camera. I didn't even bring my big camera, babe. What are you gonna do with your pictures? What? No, I'm not gonna take your pictures. I guess here. I'll do iPhone pictures. <gasps> what? <laughs> Ryan, I've never seen something like that in my life. Really? There was literally a deer. Like oh. starts. Like, he was just. He was dead on the side of the road. The radar definitely hit this place. Look at this. Wait. D isn't there okay. someone that comes and gets deers and like does something with them? Yeah, bro. Look at this place. Show the camera. Look at this. So I eat that deer. This is where we are currently. RIP to that deer, but yeah, it's pretty. It's very pretty. Driving into Houston and everything is so big. Like when we moved to Austin, I feel like the whole thing like everything's bigger in Texas we never really knew what that meant because like Austin's not really like huge or anything underwhelming. yeah he said it was underwhelming but this like what like you feel so small here the lighting's probably gonna be horrible but it's just crazy we're about to get to our hotel we're gonna drop off Sophie and then eat some dinner Vegas or something. We made it. Sophie, welcome home. We're staying at a loft in the Galleria. Sophie, are you hungry? Are you hungry? We're gonna go to dinner. It's actually like nine o'clock. We got here kind of late, but earlier than expected. We cannot get over how big this place is. Like, it's just massive. Like, I'm thinking this looks like Vegas, Miami. I just didn't think this would be like Houston. But it's weird because I have been here before, but I was here for a wedding, so I didn't get to see like all of this. I don't even know where I was. All I know is that I saw the water wall and I want to take Ryan tomorrow. Dinner with a view. We got Yellowtail Carpaccio. This is the Shaggy Dog. We got a Philly roll back there. What's this one? Triple T. Three T's or something? Looks so good. All right, we're driving downtown, but look at these arches. They're like changing colors. What? That's so cool. Good morning, y'all. Happy Saturday. We woke up in Houston. Well, technically, I guess this is kind of like outside of Houston. Like I said, we're in the Galleria, but we are about to check out and then we're gonna see if the water wall is turned on because last night we drove past it and it wasn't. So I'm thinking that they were like, you know, trying to save money overnight, but I'm really hoping that it's on today because I wanna show Ryan. I've been to Houston, like I said, I think I said this yesterday night um, for one of my cousin's weddings and that was like a couple of years ago, but we didn't get to like really tour the, City. I saw that there was like museums to go to. I'm not really a huge museum girl. So we're probably gonna come back in the future. So if you guys have any recs or if you're from Houston, let me know in the comments down below. This is gonna be a makeup free vlog, but I did like touch up my roots a little. Um, I showed it in my stories, but I use the Playa Soft Volume Powder. I'll definitely do it um, a little tutorial in my vlog one day. But if you guys aren't already following me on Instagram, I've been posting so much on my stories. I'm so proud of myself because that's something I really wanted to work on this year is just like 
putting myself out there a little bit more. We're gonna go check out, hopefully we'll get like a fast breakfast and then head to the beach. We just arrived at the water wall and Sophie pooped and the poop stuck in her ass. This doesn't happen like every time, but it does happen, you know, good amount. And of course the day that we do not have access to a bathtub because we just checked out of the freaking hotel, she has poop in her ass. So <laughs> we're just trying to find out what we should do. Was wondering we made Sophie a little diaper and then when we get to the ocean we're gonna dunk you in and wash ya she literally hates the water so we'll see how that goes Since Sophie had a little issue, we weren't able to go to get breakfast or anywhere um, just because we were kind of embarrassed. We did get Starbucks. The line was actually 30 minutes long. It was really windy so the audio turned out to be really bad but I was basically just saying that the parking is $15 and we went to Stewart Beach. I thought that this was near the pier because I googled it and it looked to be really close to the pier but it actually ended up not being super close and I also said the drive kind of reminded me of the drive to like Cocoa Beach or New Smyrna and you parked on the sand but like not on the beach sand it's kind of like behind the beach if that makes sense so the sand is pretty hard so we didn't have any issues with our car It's 3 p.m. and we tried looking for a restaurant that sells oysters and that's pet friendly, but most of them were like not pet friendly or if they were pet friendly, they didn't sell oysters. So we decided we're just gonna go back to Austin and then just have like a nice dinner at home. We have three hours and 30 minutes in the car. So hopefully this goes by fast, but it was a really fun day at the beach. Like the water was actually really warm. It definitely reminded me a lot of Cocoa Beach, which isn't like the panhandle beaches like Destin, Florida, East Coast. East Coast. Yeah, it's not like white sands and everything. It's definitely like brown and hard sand, but it's still fun. At least the water was warm. That's all I really like care about because I love swimming in the ocean. Now it's like overcast. So oh yeah. Be getting burned. Yeah, we, we also left because Ryan was gonna get burned because he never brings sunscreen and I don't personally need it. I know I should be wearing it. I definitely brought my face sunscreen, but I don't really I don't know. I don't really ever bring like sunscreen for my body, but he always needs it and he never brings it. Probably gonna have to stop somewhere on the way home just to get like water because I am dehydrated. Finished my whole hydro flask. Um, and we're gonna need some water for Sophie too. So we're about to go into Bucky's. Uh, Bucky's just a massive gas station. It's like the size of a Walmart. So big. <laughs> it's like the same thing. Like they sell everything a Walmart would sell if like everything at Walmart had their logo on it. Like it's like just this Bucky logo on everything. Yeah. I think there's like a hundred It's a chipmunk. Pumps. This one's pretty small compared to the one in uh, like San Antonio. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go in, get some snacks. Yeah. We passed the Katy Texas one when we when you were asleep. Oh. Um, but it's like twice as big as this almost. It's huge. Whatever you can imagine, there's a Bucky's logo on it there in this store. You want one? No, I don't want that. <laughs> I remember seeing someone wearing like a bikini that has Bucky's all over it. Bikini trunks? <laughs> We're gonna do a Bucky's haul. That's a Budin Kolachi. 
The roll's actually pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. A brisket sandwich, caramel popcorn. Sugar roasted pecans. We are back in our apartment. It is 8 p.m. And that was 24 hours in Houston and Galveston, Texas. Aren't you proud of me? I was very minimal, spontaneous on this trip. No laptops or makeup. That's crazy no for me. No. Oh. Nothing. No bra. I never wear a bra if I don't <laughs> have to. We were gonna go to Lefty's tonight and get some like appetizers and some drinks, but I think we're gonna stay in. Like I'm super comfy right now, just like cozy. I kind of want to like do work because I was like away from my laptop this whole time and I was just like thinking. <laughs> Spent of... one Friday night away from her laptop. Yeah, it was literally not even like a full day. I feel like I always have a million thoughts running through my head of just like how I could further my career. So I always like want to be on my laptop because I, I like doing work sometimes. I guess okay, it depends on like what. Yeah, okay, I am obsessed with it. <laughs> it depends on what work it is, I guess. But I am gonna go grab my computer for the first time in 24 hours. This should be like a 24 hours away from your computer challenge. <laughs> but. Um, turn it off while you're gone, Lisa. No, I didn't. I probably should have turned my computer off because it's like never off. But I'm going to end the vlog here. I am wearing a shirt, so sorry if you guys thought I was naked that whole time. If you guys aren't already following my Instagram, definitely go do it. You can check it out here. At so underscore gnarly without the G. I'm probably going to post like a photo dump tomorrow of just like random photos we took in Houston. I didn't bring my nice camera and we just like had some random people take our pictures. So they're not like anything great. But if you guys still want to see them, go head over to my Instagram and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!